Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to see how to trigger a SQL file from a Snowflake CLI client. For this prerequisite is you have to install the Snowflake CLI client based on your OS respectively. I am using a Windows OS so I have installed the Windows installer from the Snowflake official documentation. If you check the steps it is very easy and easy to, it's just a 5 minutes of work. In your Snowflake web interface just go to the top right corner and select the help and then download option then you will see this pop up here you can download the respective installer based on your OS I am using Windows and once it is installed in your local machine if you check in root directory you will find a snow SQL directory which is created once you installed inside this there will be many files and you if you check config file there will be many things will be commented out for you to make a entry so these things why we are giving is like each time when we are entering into snow sql if you wish don't need to give a account name region or username password db name you can enter it here so, or else if you, you have to enter it explicitly each time when you are entering into snow sql and it will prompt you for a password so it's better to give it here and one more keynote in this is the password files which you are using is stored is a plain text in this config file so you must explicitly secure this file to restrict the access for example in linux or mac os you can set the read permission to you alone by running the following command if your passwords include the special characters you must enclose these passwords since either in a single or double quotes once these things are set we are good to go to trigger a sql file from a snow sql before that we will check what is a sql file which we are going to trigger it right now so one thing which I want to tell is this is a staging directory which I created previously. So what I'm doing in this SQL file is just using the schema and I'm dropping the table user and I'm removing the staging directory file which is having a pattern of tech users. This is the file which I am moving from my local machine into Snowflake. So this tech users CSV file is having this file lines of data, not a much data, just sample data which we are going to trigger it this through sql command line and we are planning to move this into snowflake tables so once we are creating once we remove the file in this staging directory we are putting the file from my local machine into the staging directory and then we are creating this table user and i'm just describing it to make sure that column names are correctly popular eventually it will be correctly popular just a command to make you see what is happening and then you have to move this. This is the actual place where you are. Sorry, one second. This is the actual place where you are. Data is moving from staging directory into Snowflake tables. And plus, I am just selecting this table. So there are two methods to trigger a Snow SQL file from Snowflake CLI client. One is outside the Snow SQL CLI mode or inside the Snow SQL CLI mode. We will check the both also. Just it's if you are triggering it from outside CLI mode, you have to use the Snow SQL binary and using the file which is from a local machine. And this is the place I have entered the config files in my credentials, so I'm not entering the account or password names under explicitly. So if you didn't give your passwords, usernames explicitly, you need to give it in the command line itself. Another method is inside the CLI mode using a source command you can trigger this SQL file we will see the both in action now I'm triggering a snow SQL file from outside the CLI mode if you notice here that it is giving me a status pack for each and every command it is executing so if you check that our first command is to use the schema and drop the table and remove the file from a staging directory and move the direct move the file from my local machine into staging directory and the note notable point here is like I'm moving the CSV file but in snowflake staging directory it is converting it into a gun zip that means it is compressing it inbuilt so here the thing is like in snowflake if you are putting an uncompressed file itself it is compressed into a 1 is to 10 ratio if I am putting a 10 GB of CSV file it will compress it into 1 GB of CSV file and even though if you are putting a parquet or OSC file which is by de default it is in a compressed stage only even that file also snowflake will be converting or into a 1 is to 3 ratio if I am putting a 10 GB or around it will be 
it will convert it into 6 GB or even lesser. And uh, this is the way Snowflake is Snowflake storage cost is very less. And the table is created and its schema is displayed. And act this is the command where actually our file is moved from a staging directory into a Snowflake tables. Now we are going to trigger the same thing from inside the SnowSQL. So we will enter into SnowSQL CLI mode. So now I'm going to trigger the same thing, same file, but inside the CLI mode using a source command. Now exactly what happened outside, it was happening going to be inside also. There is nothing changes in that. One with the only difference which we are doing inside the SnowSQL. The, basically people will be using this in testing phase inside the CLI mode and uh, while in uh, production and all we will be using inside the bash or script where we will be calling a snow sql and using a hyphen f and you will put the path of the location where you will check the status of this execution command and based on this command you will trigger the respective operation if the command which you entered is a fail you will be triggering a mail like that thing so in this lecture we have learned how to trigger a SQL file from a Snowflake CLI mode outside and inside CLI mode. Thanks for watching.